Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing some Michael Kors products. I'm going to be looking at three bags and two different types of purses. And I'm not doing the sort of generic jet set bucket tote bag that Michael Kors do, which is really, really nice because I think that there's lots and lots of reviews for that bag. I'm going to do sort of different bags, different seasons and different types of um, fabric that the bags are in. I always think that the risk with Michael Kors is that it can look a bit boring. I think some of the designs are fairly generic and samey and whenever I look for a Michael Kors bag I'm always looking for something a little bit different. It's quite corporate all of their designs and quite business like so none of the bags that I'm showing you today are anything like that because I just don't look for that sort of thing in a handbag. I think that your handbag, even when you're in the office, even if you want it for a corporate event, I think it can still be fun. But that's not to say that any of these bags I would use in a corporate setting. Maybe one or two, actually. But it's all about your opinion on where and when you use things. But for me, Michael Kors, it can be a little boring. But none of these bags, in my opinion, are today. So, first one, it is the Marina bag, the Marina grab bag in summer blue. So it's got white rope handles with brown leather around the bottom. It has some gold trim detail and the Michael Kors badge here and then the rope and the leather runs down there. On the bottom it's just plain, it doesn't have any feet and on the back it's the same with the anchor gold trim but it doesn't have... Hello Heidi! Heidi likes the bag! Do you like the bag? I don't know what you're sniffing. You like this bag? Or you like me? You like me? I love you too. Are you just going to stand there? That's alright then. Oh gosh! Sorry Boo! <gasps> sorry, sorry, I'll be out all day and she's a little, oh, that was very close to being a French kiss. She's a little bit excited about me being home, which is lovely, isn't it? Thank you. So we're just going to carry on like you're not there, I think. So this is the blue marina bag. It cinches in at the top with a button, which you just undo. And then it's quite a large bag, you can get a lot in there. So. Obviously this is more of a summer spring bag I would say or a holiday bag. You could put your beach towel in it or your swim things. It's got a few pockets on the inside, the khaki Michael Kors lining which all Michael Kors bags have. And this came in so many different colours. It came obviously in this blue. It comes in white, pink, gold, silver, hundreds of different colours. And I just think for a summer bag it's, it looks quite expensive and I think it looks pretty cool. I really liked it and it's the best summer bag that I had last year and the fact that it came in so many different colours as well. I think blue looks more nautical which is why I went for blue. But I also really really like the white and it was a bit of a toss up because white is my favourite colour but I thought it would make it a little bit dirty. I still don't know whether I made the right decision but it's a really good quality bag even though it's canvas it still has the leather on it and I really really like it and I can't wait to take it away possibly on holiday or use it as my summer bag. I haven't I still haven't decided a you know six months on so there's that. Now the next one I got in two different colours, but it also comes in purple. It's a hobo bag, and it's got the gold trim on it, and I think green and gold look really good together. It's got a hard tone Michael Kors zip that says Michael Kors on it. It's got a Michael Kors badge here, so you can see the branding, but it's not too in your face. The pocket there, it's got another pocket at the back, and it's got detail down the side and then the lining on the inside with some green detail in there and this bag is called 
I can find the ticket. It's called a Fulton leather shoulder bag. I really liked it because it's actually really comfortable, really close to your body. I don't know if you can see that. And I think that green and gold, as I said, looks quite cool. And it's a really, really nice soft leather. It's sort of similar to the Napa leather by, my, uh, by Mulberry. And the lining's really, really thick as well, so it just feels really, really good quality. And again, you can fit so much... My dog's scratching, you got an itchy ear! And you can fit so much in here. So I'm a big fan of this bag. And I love this as well, I like that. And I also got the bag in gold. And I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it. But I think that it would be good with a tan. I'm pretty pale in nature, so I'm not sure if it's my colour. And you can see it's still all wrapped up, so I don't know whether I'm keeping it for myself or whether it will be a gift or whether it will be returned yet. But I do like gold. I think this could transform into an evening bag. And it's gold on gold, so it has that little bit of sparkle. But this bag also came in purple, which was very nice as well. But I just like the contrast of the gold on the bag as well. And this last bag, this is made, made, mage. This is made out of stitched leather or whipped leather. It's whipped leather, so they whip it, I presume. And then it's really, really hard wearing leather, really difficult to stain, and easy to wipe, and obviously waterproof. And this is obviously another beach bag, and it's got the little handbag charm. Michael Kors and the lining I really like in this because this is you can buy jumpers and things in this lining and it's a bucket bag again and this is called Kiki which yeah Kiki but you can see it's got the Michael Kors emblem there and I know it's a summer bag again, summer spring bag or holiday bag but I really liked it I love polka dots and again this came in lots and lots of different colours. This is probably the most interesting one and green and white are sort of their colours at Michael Kors. It's not the brown that you think it could be. It's the green and white and they have lots of clothes in green and white and I think that's more their sort of staple. And whipped leather is people don't really understand it, I think that they, because it feels a little bit but like PV plasticky leather, but it's really hard wearing, as I say. So I think if you're, you're gonna use it as a beach bag, you need something that the sand and potential suntan lotion disaster is not gonna damage, and this is pretty good, I think. And you can use it as a beach bag. You could even use it as a quite a posh shopper, perhaps. So those are my four Michael Kors bags, three, different types of fabric and three very different looks I think and so now I'm just going to quickly touch on some purses a couple of purses this is one it's not really a purse it's more a wristlet I know I've said before I don't really like carrying a handbag around I just like to put my money and my phone and my keys in and go and this I found is perfect this is just it's just called a clutch and again, the polka dots, I like the polka dots. It's got the MK on the front, which I think is kind of cute. And a little leather wristlet strap. It's made out of the whipped leather again, so hard wearing. And then it has nice Michael Kors lining on the inside. And brand new, this is £60. Sorry, I haven't gone through how much everything is. Do you want me to do that? So brand new, this is £60, which I think is a real bargain for a clutch bag. This one, I think it, it was £300, brand new. And then these two, the gold and the green, brand new, they are £300 as well. And then this Marina grab bag, I don't have the price on it, but I think, I think probably about the £300 mark as well. So Michael Kors isn't cheap it's cheaper than mulberry you know if you were to buy this size bag in mulberry you're sort of looking at 
oh, about a thousand pounds. This by Mulberry would obviously be cheaper, probably about 600 for their new neon line. So it is cheaper than Mulberry, but it's still fairly expensive, but it is all good quality and hard wearing and thick fabrics and lining and all the metal tone wear is really good quality. So I think you get what you pay for with these things. And then the other purse here, this is, my mum actually got this, but she changed her mind, so has given it to me, which is great. She got this to put her phone in because she really liked my Mulberry phone wallet, but then she went ahead and bought that Mulberry phone wallet. So this was £85 new. It's got a little wristlet. It's quite bulky, so for a purse I think it's fine, but just to sort of grab and go to put your phone in. It's quite thick. I don't think you'd be able to feel your phone vibrate and most people have their phone on vibrate these days and especially with the iPhone, I don't think it's a really violent vibrate so you definitely wouldn't be able to feel your phone in the middle there. And it's got lots of card pockets and things and it's sort of a taupe, mushroomy, putty colour with gold around the outside. So I like the design of it <clears throat> and it's quite thick and big and with the gold Michael Kors on front but I it's not sort of my thing but that's because I just don't really use wallets but I do like the gold I, I mean Michael Kors do their accessorizing of their products well I think but it it's all sort of similar this is sort of standard Michael Kors this isn't something I would buy because I like their more interesting things but this is sort of standard corporate business-like design, which is still really nice. It's just not my cup of tea. So those are my Michael Kors things, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.